Good afternoon and praise the Lord to everyone. We thank God one more time for being in your presence and in your homes and as well as in your hearts. Um, our topic today is The Way Out and Crisis New Principles. Amen. So at this time, Lady Flex, would you like to lead us in some prayer? Yes, we're going to lead you into prayer on this afternoon. Again, we welcome you. And if there's any comments or input that you do have during our session, please feel free to comment. That's what helps us. Yes. That helps feed us as we feed you. Let us bow before the Lord. Precious Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this afternoon, O God, thanking you for what you've already done, how you have provided a way to hear your word, how you have provided a way yes, to bless the hearts of your people. You, and oh God, on today, we're asking you to open up the ears of the hearers that they might hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. And Lord, those that hallelujah are hallelujah without understanding Give them clarity on today. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord to everyone. Once again, we are thankful and we are excited about being into your homes, into your heart. We give honor to God and to uh, all of the saints of God today yes, that yes. are there, uh, our family members, uh, our friends. Uh, we just thank God, and most of all, we thank God for Sister Charlie and Deacon Carol, who is part of our team. And we want each and every one of you to feel free uh, to uh, bring forth questions. If you have questions, if you have comments, we love questions and comments. So please feel free to bring those on board. Mm -hmm. Our topic today is the way out and crisis new principles. Mm -hmm. The way out and crisis new principles. You know, there is so much going on today that yes. there is a way out, church. There is a way out. And we want to just bring to your attention some of these scriptures that I believe is going to help and deliver and set free mm -hmm. those who are, are caught between two opinions. Now, Christ's new principles mm -hmm. reflect on some very, very intense scriptures. And uh, we want to bring those uh, scriptures to your understanding today. First of all, thank you again for allowing us just a moment to be in your house and to your homes and to your presence. Uh, I hope and pray that something will be said today that will inspire you. Yes. That will inspire you. We need inspiration from God. And so let's first and foremost go to our text today. It's in the book of, uh, I believe, Romans chapter number 14, verse 17. 17. Mm -hmm. And that reads, that's Romans chapter 14, verses 17, yes. and it reads, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Now, what this simply means, church, what profits a man to gain the whole wide world and lose his soul? Mm -hmm. What we're offering today comes with guarantee. Oh, yes. We're talking about peace. We're talking about joy. Mm -hmm. right. And we're talking about righteousness. Yes. These are the contents. These are the ingredients that God offers in his new principles. Yes, yes. In his new principles. Okay, let's read Lady Fikes. Verse 18 mm -hmm. says, For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Now, all of the things that we're talking about have 
has been approved already by God. Mm -hmm. He's approved rest. Mm -hmm. He's approved peace. He's approved joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, yes. And peace that surpasses all understanding. These are the new principles, church, friends, that Jesus is offering. The new principles. Yes. By the way, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Let's read some more. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. So we're in hot pursuit today mm -hmm. to follow these principles and, uh, uh, and guidelines and values that Jesus has given us so that we can uh, obtain these, uh, these, these valuable uh, ingredients, peace and joy, mm -hmm. uh, righteousness, uh, uh, and all of these things. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of his righteousness. Yes. And he said, I will add all these things unto you. Mm -hmm. These are the new, these are the crisis new principles. Yes. Amen. And Pastor, I'm looking at this, mm -hmm. uh, the time that we're living in today, even the events and the things that are taking place, yes. even at this hour, it brings in a lot of questions for us. And there's times when we do have to bring forth our opinions on things, but we still have to follow the principles of God. And all of that includes peace. Because we have to walk in righteousness. Amen. And we're, 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 we're moving out of darkness mm -hmm. into his marvelous light. From darkness to light. And, and these were the laws and the rules yes. that Jesus uh, told us that we might be governed by. Yes. So let us uh, adopt these rules. Let us conform to these rules. Yes. If we want joy, if we want peace, mm -hmm. if we want righteousness, yes. rest, uh, these are the things that we must acquire after we have been born again of the water and the spirit. Yes. We, we, we go from darkness to light, mm -hmm. from an old way to a new way. Yes, yes. And these are the new principles that Jesus is teaching. Yes. They're called kingdom concepts, by the way. Yes. Amen. So let us move forward. Now, that's one uh, particular uh, ch uh, chapter that I wanted to go into first okay. to kind of get us warmed up. Yes. And now I want to move towards the book of Acts. Yes. The book of Acts, chapter number uh, one. We'll start at chapter number one. And verse eight. And verse eight. Keep in mind, your questions are welcome. Now, now, I got some headlines on some of these, these passages of Scripture. This is the passage of Scripture that gives power to witness. Yes. Power to witness, because we're moving from, listen now, we're moving from darkness yes. to light. This is the way out. This is the way out. And we need to observe the laws of God if we're going to be the recipients of peace, joy, and righteousness. Yes, yes, yes. The book of Acts chapter number 1, verse number 8. And it reads, mm -hmm. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now, what we're doing now is showing you the power now mm. that comes with witnessing. It goes on to say that in this book it says, but you shall receive power yes. mm -hmm. after the Holy Ghost comes and upon you, and you shall be witnesses. Yes. 
to me in Ju uh, Jerusalem uh -huh. and all Judea uh -huh. and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. So this thing that we're talking about, these new principles, church, that we're talking about, they don't, they, they don't come with just idleness. They come with power. Mm -hmm. Power now. Power to have joy, peace, and righteousness. Power to live right. We're coming out of darkness now into his marvelous, marvelous life. life. And the laws and the rules are necessary to govern the old nature. Yes. You see, these laws and rules are necessary to govern over our old nature. Yes, yes. Say amen, church. Amen. 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 Pastor? Yes, ma'am. So are you saying that we have to apply these principles of living to our lives? Yes, we do. We have to. It's considered practical application. Okay. Okay. Now, these are the principles that were given by Jesus that we might be, that they may govern over our old nature. Okay. See, we need our old nature tame. Oh, yes. And so these, these uh, particular rules and, and, and laws are necessary to govern our old nature because, see, our old nature is murder, hate, mm -hmm. sexual sin, mm -hmm. revenge, oh, yes. hate, prejudice, mm -hmm. uh, greed. Yes. So all of these are uh, are the old man and his deeds. Now, mm -hmm. when we talk about the new nature, we go into forgiveness. Yes. The purity of thoughts, Lady Fikes. Yes. Uh, loving our enemies. Yes. My yes. God. <laughs> loving our enemies. Yes. Uh, being generous. Uh -huh. uh, contentment. Yes. The Bible says uh, contentment, uh, no, no. Godliness with contentment, contentment is great gain. gain. Yes. And also tolerant. Yes. Long yes, suffering. Yes, yes. So these are the new ways, and, and the ones that I quoted before were the old ways. Yes. We're moving away from the old ways, okay? And, Pastor, before yes, we go into the scripture mm -hmm. uh, for that, when we look at the old way, mm -hmm. and some of us um, are guilty of this, I can point a finger to myself as well. Way down the list, I see. Uh, a bullet point that says worry, anxiety, mm -hmm. and judgmental. Now, the worry and anxiety, there's times that I'm guilty of that. And I have to really, when I feel myself going into that mode, I have to take myself out. That's because the Holy Ghost is controlling you now. Yes. See, there's another spirit that's governing you. Yes. And that's the spirit of the Lord. And I want you to know something. We're talking about new principles of living. Yes. This, these principles that we're talking about not only are just to be written on or uh, write down in a, in a book, mm -hmm. but they're to be used in our practical application, mm -hmm. the, the way that we live. Exactly. All right, so we're in the book of Acts, uh -huh. and we're at chapter number four. Is that right? Chapter one. And eight. And eight. Now, mm -hmm. then we, did we do eight? We did. We, in fact, we already did uh, one and eight. Okay, so let's go to four. Chapter four. And 31. We'll okay. give you a moment, uh, church and friends, to go to the book of Acts, chapter number four, uh, verses 31. We'll start there. And then we're going to move into another area because we want you to know and understand uh, what all of these uh, things mean, the mm -hmm. laws of God, the... the uh, the, uh, the principles and the, the rules of God. Yes, yes. Are we there yet, Lady Yes, Max? I think we're there. Okay. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse number 31 reads, mm -hmm. And when they had prayed, mm -hmm. the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. Now, now, church, now, when they were, when they began to pray, oh yes, uh, in a place of assembly, yes, uh, something happened. 
something extraordinary mm -hmm. happened. Uh, something supernatural. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah. some, some kind of a supernatural thing occurred. Yes, yes. That was the manifestation of God. Because yes. it said that they were shaken. The place was shaken. Yes. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. And they spoke the word. The word of God with boldness. Yes. I want you to know something. You got to be bold with this thing. Yes. Every now and then, uh, I heard um, a particular um, uh, message, Lady Flax Priest, a while back. She said that uh, there's no... You don't have the right. You don't have the right to remain silent. Did you get that? <laughs> you don't have the right to remain silent. Not in this way. Uh, these people, once they were filled with the Holy Ghost, yes. things began to shake up. Mm -hmm. And they said they came forth with the word of God boldly. Yes, yes, See, yes. there's a boldness that comes along with the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. And these are the new principles now. We're, we're talking about new principles uh, that God, that, that Jesus gave to us. Uh-huh. Okay? These, and, and for us to live by, church, these are principles to live by. Yes. We're talking about uh, the power of witnessing. Yes. The power of witness yes. comes with boldness. It comes with boldness. When you speak the word of God, you have to first be converted, and then you can strengthen your brother. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. And so these are the things that occurred when they practiced the new way. Yes. When they practiced Coming out of darkness uh -huh. into his marvelous oh, light, uh, the practice of forgiveness and the practice of pure thoughts, yes, the yes. practice of loving your enemies, uh -huh. the practice of pure motives, yes. the practice of being content, godly contentment, yes, great gain. It brings great gains. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And so, what we want to do uh, is to go from that point. Luke. to uh, the book of Luke mm -hmm. and we're going to go to 10, 19 I believe and 20, and 20. the good book of Luke go ahead remember your comments are welcome yes they are I'm just excited I'm just excited in the book of Luke, mm -hmm. chapter number 10, verses 19 and 20, and it reads, mm -hmm. Behold, yes. I give unto you power there it is. to tread upon serpents mm -hmm. and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Yes. And nothing, I want to repeat that. Go ahead. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, when God gives you power, glory, glory. you can tread upon serpents and scorpions. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And of all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means mm -hmm. hurt you. Because now, what you have is angels. Angels that are camped around. He said, he that feared the Lord, I charge my angels to camp around me. Yes, yes. So, we're in the book of uh, Luke chapter number 10, uh -huh. 19. Yes. Okay? I just want you to understand this is the kind of verses that you read so that you can understand that you have the power oh, yes. over your enemies. Oh, yes. And that you know and understand that there is power that comes along with the witness. Yes. There's a boldness that comes along yes. with the witness. Yes. Now, and then we go on to say somebody out there needs some peace. Somebody out there needs some joy uh -huh. right now. Oh, yeah. I'm speaking to you right now. Right now. Let me tell you something. You need to go to Romans chapter number 14 and 17 and meditate on that word. Hallelujah. Come on, I feel good. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Now, now, if we talk about principles, let's let's break that down a little bit so that you'll understand because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times people don't understand words. And so words have great recompense oh, of reward. Yeah. By your words, you're justified, and by your words, you you're condemned. condemned yeah. So let us understand what the, the meaning, the true meaning of principles concerning Jesus. It says here, I got down here, principles uh -huh. are a list of values set by a person or a group of people. Jesus had principles, church. Oh, yes. We have principles, but they're old principles. And we need to adopt the new principles oh, yes. of Jesus. And it goes on to say that it's the basic truth and the origin of somebody. Jesus is the truth, the way, and the light. Yes. And nobody comes by the Father right. except by the Son. Uh -huh. So, Lady Fikes, I'm reading this right here. I'm reading the, the values. It's value. See, there are values that we need to adopt, church. Uh -huh. That set that are set by a particular person. Oh yes. This is not my perception. This is not my doctrine. This is the doctrine of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which is uh, they tell me that is uh, the prophets and the apostles awesome. and Jesus chief. Christ being the what? Chief cornerstone. He's the chief cornerstone. Oh, yes. Chief cornerstone means he is the he is the stability of all. Oh yes, that's everything. Yes. anything that's a, a, a cornerstone has the weight of the whole building. Yes, yes. He has the weight of the whole body. Uh huh. Chief cornerstone. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah, Lord. And so today we are going forth with Christ's new principles. Crisis new principles. Crisis meaning ownership. Crisis new principles. What are they, Pastor Fikes? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. They are. Pure thoughts. Loving your enemies. Mm. Pure motives. Generous. You know, God loves a cheerful giver. Generous, mm -hmm. hallelujah, uh, godly contented with the things that God has given us, mm -hmm. and and so we're moving in these areas now. Let's let's go. We, we're jumping just a little bit, Lady Fox, mm -hmm. for time's sake. Let's go to Matthew's chapter number five. Matthew chapter number five. Saint Matthew's mm -hmm. chapter number five, and we'll start there. We, we, we must change our ways, church. Yes. Uh, uh, tradition has made God's word of none effect. And uh, I, I want you to know that the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. But the gift of God is eternal life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So if I choose life, I choose the new principles of life. Yes. Amen. Now we're in the book of St. Matthews. Lady Fox, would you be so gracious to read the verse? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just read that whole particular chapter there. Starting at one? Yes. St. Matthew chapter mm -hmm. five, verse one. And seeing the multitudes, mm -hmm. he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the pure in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall 
be filled. Blessed are the merciful, mm -hmm. for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Stop right there. Let me tell you something. During this time, <clears throat> During this time, Jesus was teaching his disciples uh, the new principles of the doctrine. And uh, it goes on to say that uh, there were many, many crowds and there were people, even rabbis, that he was teaching, but he had to steal away to teach his disciples oh, yes. the new principles mm -hmm. of the doctrine. And uh, it goes on to say that uh, it was a situation where the disciples, Jesus had many disciples in addition to the crowds who followed him and listened to his teaching. Mm -hmm. from, many, from the many disciples, he selected 12 to receive a special instruction and power. Uh -huh. Now, what this is saying, there were many people who was following Jesus yes. that he disciple. Yes. But there were 12 that he selected mm -hmm. to set up the church. Yes. To bring forth the wonderful news of the gospel. Yes. And uh, uh, I want you to understand, faith comes by here. Faith comes by hearing. Amen. And it's impossible to please God without faith. Yes. And that's hearing the word of God. Yes. Church, if you really want to understand what we're saying today and how we're saying it, you have to have an ear to hear. Yes, yes. What the Spirit is saying to the church. I I'm speaking to those who perhaps... Uh, caught between an opinion today. Uh, let me satisfy your curiosity. If you change in the manner in which God wants us to change, yes. it's called new life. He came that we might have life uh -huh. and that more abundantly. Now, I'm not sure if you understand what abundance means. That's enrichment. That's yes. more than enough. Yes. That's that's enough to pass around. Mm -hmm. And and so but for both of us, yes, ma'am. And, and so he came that we might have life and that more abundantly. And so if we understand uh, this principle, this this new principle of living, yes. this new value, uh, this new rule this new law. Yes. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. He said it. And so these disciples sat long enough, 12, sat long enough to hear and understand that there is a manifestation of God only when you cross from darkness into his marvelous life. Yes, yes, yes. Into his marvelous life. Yes. Say something, Lady Lights. I'm looking at uh, verse 14, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm listening very carefully because it says, Ye are the light of the world, a city that's set 
I'm sorry, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Tell us about that. And it is in his will, yes. it's his purpose for us to have all of the boldness of witnessing yes. because we are the light of the world. If it wasn't for us, who would tell the people about this great gospel? That's why he's teaching us to be bold. He's also giving us encouraging words, saying that we don't have to worry about That's being right. afraid. That's we right. have power even to tread upon uh, serpents and scorpions and over all the power you, over the enemy. Yes. And don't be afraid because nothing by any means shall hurt us. So when I see when he says, ye are the light of the world, it's our light that has to shine so that men can see our good work. Yes. That's why we have to practice the principles that Christ has brought to us. Otherwise, they won't see our good work. Amen. Let your light so shine yes. that men might see your good works and glorify the Father yes. which is in heaven. Lights bring light. Lights bring light. When we go into a room, we should be able to change the atmosphere. Oh, yes, we should. Come be. on, church. Amen, because we're bringing light into darkness. Yes, yes. And it said that we are the lights of the world. Yes. That's a city now that sits on a hill. Mm -hmm. A hill is a place where mostly everybody can see yes. who is sitting on the hill. You can look up. We need yes. light. We need people, persons, saints of God yes. that are lit up like a city <laughs> that sits on a hill yes, yes. that cannot be <laughs> hid. Amen. I, I'm just really excited about reading that because it tells me uh, who I am. Oh, yes. It tells me uh, that I cannot be hidden. You, you cannot hide this thing. You cannot be hidden, church. Yes. There's yes, no yes. such thing as a reserved saint. No. Huh? No, no, no. We're kind of noisy, aren't we? Lively stone. <laughs> they call us lively stone. Oh, yes. My God, when I got this Holy Ghost church, 1982, uh -huh. I'm telling you the truth, it's been upward, not downward. No. It's been an upward. My fire never went out. No. Hallelujah. It comes with fire, by the way. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. And so he's teaching. He's teaching his disciples, each and every one of them. Yes. How to transform from darkness yes. into his marvelous, marvelous light. light. To leave your hypocritical lifestyle, the greed that comes along yes. with the old way, revenge, yes, yes. sexual sin, and uh -huh. uh, murder, and anger. Uh, these are the old way, church. These yes. are the old way. Yes. They're, they're, they're antiquated. They're, they're nothing. These are something that we can never use again. Mm -hmm. Huh? No. All right. So, we're moving forward now. Yes. Excuse me. We're moving into the laws and the rules. Mm hmm did you want me to finish? Yes, ma'am, please. It says here, Neither do men light a candle uh -huh. and put it under a bushel, yes. but on a candlestick. Mm -hmm. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Mm -hmm. And it goes on to say, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So when I see you, Lady Fikes, I see Jesus. Yes, yes. That's all. When I see the saints of God, I see Jesus. Yes. Because they're the lights of the world. And I, I can be truthful with you. Once the saints are raptured up, this place is going to be a dark My place. God. Dark. This place is going to be a dark place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. We're, 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 we're moving into... That era right now, all the things that you see and, and, and have experienced with yes. the pandemic uh, virus and uh, the uproars and, and, and fathers sense. against sons and mothers against daughters yes. and, and the, the joblessness and, and all these other things that are taking place. That yes. was Jesus is soon to come. Oh, yes, he is. He's coming. 
And he did say this. He said, comfort them with these words. I'm coming back. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So what we're doing now is that we're preparing you. We're preparing you. Yes. For the arrival of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, mm -hmm. that you be prepared. He said, my people, no more voice, a stranger they will not follow. Hmm? That quiet voice, come my people. Uh, it's going to be a great day when that occurs. Oh, God. yes. Oh, yes. And so we are. We're, we're preparing for that day. Yes. Amen. Um, so let's move to, if that's, are you finished with that one? Yes. Well, if you want me to go on, I can. If not, we can move on. Well, let's step into number six, the chapter number six. See what we got there in the book of St. Matthew. St. Matthew, chapter number six. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Charitable deeds now. See, there's there's proof. See, you can't, see, when you have faith, it comes with proof. Yes. Otherwise, it's fake. Oh, yes. Otherwise, it's fake. When you have faith, the Bible says this, you will have faith of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. And you can tell the mountain to be thou removed mm -hmm. and cast into the sea. Yes. Man, that's big boy faith. We need some big boy faith today. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But faith comes by hearing. Oh, yes. Those men, those 12 men, they listened, they heard, they received yes. the word gladly. They were filled. And when they were filled, there was a shaking up. Oh, yes. And they had boldness to speak the word of God. This thing comes with boldness. Oh, yes, it does. Hallelujah. He did not give us the spirit of fear. No, no. But love and power and of a sound mind. Yes. Let's read number six in the book of St. Matthew. Yes. Starting in chapter uh, six, verse one. Yes, ma'am. Take heed mm -hmm. that ye do not your alms before men. To be seen of them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise ye have no reward of your father. Which is in heaven. Therefore when thou doest thine alms. Do not sound a trumpet before thee. As the hypocrites do in the synagogues. And in the street. That they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you. They have their reward. Stop right there. See, there's a stark contrast here. The Bible says, he that, that humbles himself, that he will exalt and do time. Yes, yes. Um, I'm going to read something here that says this. The only reward the hypocrites will ever receive mm -hmm. is the glory from men. Oh, did you hear what I just said? I the heard. only reward that a hypocrite will receive is from the glory Amen. of men. Mm -hmm. A stark contrast with the heaven rewards of Christ given to his followers. Mm -hmm. There is a stark contrast, contrast from the reward that Jesus gives to those who are his disciples. Yes, yes. I would like to comment on Please, that as well. Yes. Because uh, if you humble yourself uh -huh. before the mighty hand of God, uh, the Lord will uh, give you and, and upgrade you and uplift you even in this day and then in the day to come. You'll also be glorified by him because we did or you did or you were humble. Mm -hmm. So he will exalt you in due time. You do not have to do it yourself. <laughs> God is well able to do it. These are charitable deeds, mm -hmm. church. These are charitable deeds. It goes on to say this, and I'm going to, we're going to move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. It says this, it says um, that uh, like those who do charitable deeds with improper motives, 
It says here, from the motives for praying, Jesus turned methods of praying while one's praise, no, excuse me, while, while one prays determine how one prays. It says, nothing is wrong with repeating prayers. Here, Jesus was referring to the empty resuscitation of mm -hmm. words. Uh -huh. It was the empty words, church. There's nothing wrong with repetitive prayer, mm -hmm. but the words had no merit. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your words have great recompense oh, of reward. Lord. Yes. Amen. Read some more of the Lady Fikes. But when thou do all, uh -huh. let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. Now, it is not necessary for you or anybody else or myself to say what you have given. Or do I make myself clear? Amen. Uh, if you've given out of your heart, yes. God recognizes what you get. Yeah, he sees it, yes. yes. Wasn't that a penny that a, that a, a woman gave? Yes. And, and that was the greatest of all? Because that's all she had. Because that was all she had. Yes. And the motive was this. I'm giving what I do have. Yes. And that's what God is calling for today. To give what you do have. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Come on, let's read just a little more. And when thou prayest, mm -hmm. thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. You have your reward by men here on earth when you pray. Yes. With the big swelling words. God says a prayer, listen to this, is a sincere desire from your heart. Yes. It's a sincere it's a desire mm -hmm. from your heart. Mm -hmm. So if I spoke several words and they were from my heart. Yes. God heard my prayer. He heard it. And he honors it. Yes. Glory to God. I'm going to finish. One more time. That, that, this will go, go right inside with go what right you ahead. say. Yes. But thou, when thou prayest, mm -hmm. enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which See it in secret shall reward thee openly. Will reward you openly. Yes, yes. When you pray in secret, when you go to that place where, you know, you're not bothered and, and, and it seems to be a little quiet, you got some peace. Yes. When you pray to the Father, yes. out of a sincere heart, secretly, yes. he rewards you. Openly, yes. This is the kind of God that we serve. Yes. These are the new principles, church, that we're talking about today. See, the way out is the way in. Oh, yes, certainly. And, and, and it's through Christ's new principles of living. Yes. From darkness to light. Yes. That city that sits on the hill. Mm -hmm. That cannot be here. Yeah. We're looking for your comments. We're looking for your questions. Uh, please feel free. And if we don't have the answer this week, by God, we'll have the answer next week. <laughs> we just want you to be satisfied. Yes. Um, I have a, uh, there's a comment. Mm -hmm. It's actually by. <clears throat> Um, someone you all used to know that's on now on the West Coast. They were here in Inglewood, Io Lynn. Oh, oh Io. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How you doing there? Yeah. Brother Lord. Amen. Amen. 
He said, thank you for this word. I was asked to join a racial unity leadership group and have attended a couple of meetings. I've always maintained that the only bridge between different cultures and ethnicities is the mod modeling of genuine love and care that we are taught through Christ. Yes. As the only male of color in the group, I have felt my words were marginalized, mm. but I will, uh, but I will continue to share Christ's unifying message of love, hope, and peace. Yes. It is truly a message that comes with 100% guarantee oh, yes. that the world can never offer, no matter how many feelings of frustrations and uh, of feelings of frustration. And he said, this is not about glorifying him. This is the glory goes to God. Amen. 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 Well said, son. And let me say this, okay? The answer to all things is Jesus. Oh, yes. That's the answer. Uh, we have great men in this world today. Great men, knowledgeable, full of wisdom, experience, but they don't have God. And when you don't have God, yes. you're like a tingling cymbal, a sounding brass. Yes. You're like a ship without a sail. Yes. And so I urge you to seek the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. and all of its righteousness. Yes. And God said this, he will add all these things unto you. You want wisdom? Ask God. That's all you have to do is ask God for it. Anything that you need, yes. God's God. Got it. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we saw this young man grow up on the block, two doors down from us. And we thank God for him uh, uh, viewing in to this uh, uh, what, I, what we call the way out. Yes. The way out is the way in. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. And God bless you. And we hope to see you soon. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Was there anyone else that wants to give us a comment, which is fine. We, we receive comments as well as questions and answers in Jesus' name. We actually have um some members um, up at our sister church of uh, Greater Christ Temple watching. We have Praise the, Lord. <laughs> the jewels. All right. <laughs> um, we also have um, Sister Belinda Swazer watching. Hey, praise the Lord. Give my regards. Yeah. Amen. Yes, we have several watching <laughs> and they're appreciating and, and chiming and saying amen and amen. Agree, in agreement with us. This is the time for the word. This truly is not a time to go out and do the things that you see on television. Oh, yes. This is something that we all need now. Something that's everlasting to everlasting. And uh, I just hope and pray that uh, we maintain our uh, dignity, our integrity. Yes. yes saints of God are in this time of trouble. Yes, and it is our responsibility to pray because prayer does change things. Prayer is the key and faith unlocks the door and the word of God says that one can chase a thousand. Mm -hmm. So think of what would happen if all of us stood in unity and prayed not being able to touch and agree physically, but on one yes. accord mentally, I believe that God would open up the heavens and bless this land. Thank you, Jesus. All we have to do is humble ourselves, pray, turn from our wicked ways. Then he said some things. He said, I'll heal this land. Yes, he said it. I'll forgive you your sins. He said it. This is what we must do, church. Yes. We thank God for the word today and we thank God for the viewers that were uh, that came to be a part of this uh, this time. This is precious time, and it's time for us to pray. It's time for us to take back what the enemy stole from us. Yes. Sometimes you're gonna have to go to his camp mm -hmm. and take it back. But let me say this before you go. Get the power of God yes, yes. on the inside. Oh, yes. Amen. 
And when you go, he said, go as conquerors. He called us more than conquerors. Than conquerors. Yes, yes. May God richly bless you and keep you. This is our prayer. Uh, we are asking at this time for those who are supporting us to please, if you have received a blessing, if you have gone up another level in God, please send us a charitable contribution that we might continue to yes. further this gospel yes, yes. of reconciliation. We thank God for you. We do have, uh, I believe, PayPal. We have uh, e-giving and Givelify. 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 <laughs> Amen. And one of the things I do want to say, uh, those who tuned in last week, uh, that was the first time in 21 years we have ever had a... Um, Drive through, drive through, communion, communion service. service. Yes, and it was awesome. It was awesome. Yes, it was. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, this was the first time that we had seen one another in a couple of months. But I want you to know something. Uh, it was just very um, touching. Yes, and oh, yeah. yes, yes. And uh, we just want you to know, we 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 see our heads are not in the sand. We see the. The, the the restlessness in the in the earth, mm -hmm. the, the 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 pandemic uh, virus, but let me say this: those who have been born again mm -hmm. are covered under the blood. Oh yes, oh, of yes. Jesus, yes. and the blood of Jesus still yeah. works. May God richly bless you and keep you. This is our prayer, Lady Fox. Please. Have some words and then we're going to close. We again want to thank everyone that has tuned in on this afternoon, a lovely afternoon for us because this is the day that the Lord has yes. made and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Continue to pray for us as we pray for you. And as we tune off on today, remember this, whatever you do and wherever you go, take, take Jesus, Jesus with you. you. God bless you in Jesus' name.